let's talk about Towson University. guys my name is Kara Ray welcome back to my channel and from the title you can tell I'm going to be telling you about Towson University these are things that I didn't know before going there but I wish I did but now I know and so I'm going to let you know by the way this is my opinion if you go to Towson and have a different opinion that's your opinion I, I don't I don't care <laughs> Towson has West Village and then they have their regular dorms. I lived in West Village, which is, I guess it's called premium housing. And the difference is, is that West Village is just you and your roommate in a room. And then you have your own bathroom. So it's just the two of you sharing one bathroom. Like, come on, why would I, why would I not? Like, I had to cough up the money for it. I had to, I had to, like, I, I couldn't pass it up. I lived in West Village because to me, the bathroom is the home. I, I do not want to share a bathroom with four different people. Like, I just, I can't do it. One thing I also didn't know is that, like, if you don't sign up for premium housing and you sign up for regular housing, it is completely random. I thought that it was first come, first serve. Like, you're the first one to sign up and pick your dorm. Then you have a higher chance of living in that dorm. But no, it's like you sign up, you could end up in Towers, you could end up in Newell, you could end up in Scarborough, and it's, it's a guessing game and another reason why I didn't do that because I wanted to know where I was gonna live and all the living situations are different for each building and I did not want to end up in a bad situation. If you do come in undecided, just know that some of the majors are screened. So if you come in undecided and you're just taking your core classes and the sophomore year rolls around, and let's say you wanna be a business or nursing major, it is screened. So you have certain classes that you needed to take in order to get into that program for your junior year. So it just adds to your time at school. Other than like when you could have been taking those classes, your freshman and sophomore year. So it's fine to come in undecided. You have to have a track that you're leaning towards. So let's say you come in undecided, but you're kind of leaning towards business because you think that's what you want to do, but you're not sure. You come in, take the little econ classes, you know, your one accounting class. So just in case you do have some of those credits under your belt so that you can take the rest of them to get into the program. Let's Let's talk about Towson parties. Towson parties are 30 minutes away from Towson. They're in Baltimore. They're in Baltimore. And nobody tells you this till you're on campus and then you see the flyer and you look up the address and you're like 30 minutes. And then the next party rolls around and that address is 30 minutes away. And the next, they rent out venues in Baltimore. And then they're like, okay, this is where the party is. So you gotta get in an Uber and drive. Mind you, like, yeah, you may have your car on campus, but where, there's nowhere to park. Like, there's really nowhere to park. So you end up Ubering. And the Uber is expensive. 30 minutes away? Like, I would split it with five people and I, I still ran, like, it ran my coin. It ran my coin after a point in time. These parties at Towson are all the same. They are all the same. Th th that's it like they're literally all the same most of them are by the same three djs the same music same people and they, they they recycle the same three venues so it's like i went to what three or four parties my first semester and that was it that was it now i was like why am i going there to do the same thing over and over i was like to the same people listen to the same songs no i'm good i'm good Towson is hilly. Like Towson is pure hills. There's, I don't like, I can't name one flat surface on Towson. Like, look, let me think. Nope. When you are walking to class, you're either walking up some stairs or down a hill or up a hill and down some stairs. Like there's no flat surface. So you, you be lugging it, especially with your backpack, you be lugging it up the hills. Like I didn't know it was so hilly until I took the tour. And you know, even when you take the tour, you're like, oh, okay. But when you gotta walk it to class in the heat, in the cold, that's when you know, that is when you realize 
how bad it is. Like the classes may not be too far, but dang, once you walk up that hill, you're gonna be tired. It's gonna feel like you walked a mile. <laughs> Them shuttles are not always running. Two weeks, two weeks after I got there, I'm starting to get notifications like gold route, not operating. Black route, only one is operating. Black route, none is operating. Gold route, operating after 11 o'clock. So you, you wake up to these notifications, you're like, dang, now I gotta get dressed even faster so I can book it to class because now I gotta walk across campus to get to class. Like them shuttles are not reliable. The times, the times are not reliable. Sometimes they just don't come. And most of the time you wake up to a message that they are not even running. The university itself is a very safe place. I will give you that. The TUPD, they, they be on it and they have the blue lights everywhere. But dang, can it be too safe? For the dorms, people can't just walk in. You have to go down, sign them in. Like mind you, you gotta swipe their one card. And if that card thing isn't working, then you gotta fill out a slip to sign them in. And it's like, I know you're trying to keep me safe. I, I know, like, I, I respect that. I love it. But come on now, like, I I, I don't want to come downstairs every time to swipe my friend in. This The same friend that be over here every day. Like, come on, like, can we give them a slip, an ID? Like, like can they just get a pass to come in here all the time? And if the person doesn't even go to Towson, they had they have to have their ID on them. They have to have their ID because then they gotta come in and fill out the sheet regardless with their um, stuff from their ID. Let's have a serious conversation. The meal plans are scams. Let me let you in on a secret. I only bought it for my first semester because I realized the system was completely broken. Like, I, I don't remember how much the meal plan was, but I'll put it here if I can find it. But the meal plan was however much, and the meals cost $6. Like, if you were to swipe to go into the buffet, like, cafeteria bar. So let's do the math and see how much you're actually paying for a meal plan, how much you should be paying for it if each swipe is $6, and then let's add up how much money is being taken from you that is not going towards those meals. So I'm gonna break this down as best as I can. The meal plan that most students get is the 14 meals per week and you get $50 worth of dining points with it. So this is $2,700 per semester. So basically $5,400 for the whole year. These calculations are for the whole year. So let's take 14 meals per week and multiply it by $6, which is how much each swipe is, and multiply it by 32, which is roughly how many weeks are in a school year. You get 2,688, and then add 100 dining points. Because remember, you get 50 per semester, so that's 100. You get 2,788. Now subtract it by 5,400, because remember, that's how much it is for the year meal plan. That's $2,612 that just goes towards the school and not your meals. That's what I mean. Like, it, it's just missing. It's, it's not making sense. It didn't make sense to me. And mind you, I didn't go to a buffet all the time. So if you don't go, why do I keep saying buffet? The, the calf, the cafeteria, the, the West Village Commons. I'm just going to say that. I didn't go to Commons all the time. I would go to Panda or Chick or uh, the Pete's Place and that was basically it because I had stuff to do. I'm not the type of person to go sit down and eat all the time in the comments. And if you're not that type of person, listen, listen to this please. I didn't buy a meal plan after my first semester. I just added money to my dining points. So basically what dining points is, is you swipe for a meal but if the meal is over six dollars then you have money so you can add the extra 50 cents or the extra three dollars to it what i did is just added money to my dining points because each meal was six dollars already or it was six something or however much it was so i would just swipe that and i was getting my money's worth because i wasn't paying all that extraness that was within the meal plan i was basically it's like paying with a card basically but instead it was with my one card the reason i added to my one card and don't use my regular card is because it's easier and i think they don't charge i don't think they put tax on it if you use your one card 
so that's why i used mine and i was just doing that too it's that i'm telling you if you do not go to commons all the time it is not worth it it's not worth it and you will see you will see after your first year that you do not need all the meals and you just gonna start adding money to your dining points to save your coin like the amount of money that i saved on not buying a meal plan is ridiculous because them things are expensive i'm sorry that's how it, like i don't know if that made sense it sounded in my head like it was all over the place but i'm i'm trying it's so hard to explain that but let me know if you understand it if you don't that i can make a whole nother video on just that <laughs> going to a PWI. I didn't really know what to expect, but you don't remember as a PWI. Like I would tell everybody this, I feel like Towson is just 50-50. Like you don't remember you're in a PWI so you go to class. Till you go to class, that's when you remember it's a PWI. And you're like, dang, am I, am I, the, only, am I the only one in here? <laughs> that's that's when you see everybody but other than that when you're just walking on campus like you see all types of races that you don't even remember that you go to a PWI freshman I'm sorry I hated it and you're gonna hate it too them seminar classes that they force you to take the Towson seminar classes that it's literally a hit or miss especially since they make your schedule for you the first year you're like it's a hit or miss because you can't pick and you don't necessarily know what the class is and the names are so vague it's like what was mine let me what was mine dang i can't remember something about life and how to how to live life how to it, i'm gonna put it right here but i went in there and she, she tricked us i'm gonna tell you this she tricked us because I thought that it was gonna be fun because she made the first couple days seem fun. Until that switch drop passed. Then she threw us with the bombs. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> if I knew the class was like this, I would have dropped it and picked another one. <laughs> like, come on now. Like, you should have shown me your true colors beforehand. For those classes, you're supposed to write a 10 page paper, but not all of them make you write a 10 page. Of course, the one I got, I had to write the 10 page, right? But some of my friends, they did not have to write it. Like some of the professors were just like, no, I don't really need the 10 page paper, blah, blah, blah. And it's really just a hit or miss because them classes be sounding stupid. I'm gonna I'm tell you this now, like the titles don't make sense. They don't make sense. They had one about vampires. And then my friend said one of her classes took her to a plantation. I was like, what What are we learning here? What are we learning here? But you're forced to take them. So I would, I would just say, just, just pick the one that you think sounds the best to you. Because either way, you're gonna be screwed. I forgot to add that I really love Towson and you will enjoy it too. It's honestly such a good school and I wouldn't have chosen anywhere else. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to know about Towson. And if you see me on campus, don't be afraid to say hi. I may look intimidating because I have like a resting face, but I'm really not and I'll speak back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.